Hi, this is Dan with Microframe Corporation. This video is designed to help you navigate through our huge catalog of timer displays and pick the one that will best fit your application. So to get started, you're going to want to decide whether you need two, three, four, or six digits of time on your display. If you choose a two digit, just be aware that it will show hours, minutes, or seconds, but it, you have to select just one of those options. The next thing to decide is the character size. Our five and a half inch displays are about the size of an exit sign and work for most applications. But if you have an application that needs long distance visibility, you're going to want to go with our eight inch display. It has dual row LEDs and can be purchased in most of our series. The next decision will be indoor versus outdoor LEDs. Our indoor LEDs are all demonstrated here. Our outdoor LEDs have an auto dimming function, so in direct sunlight they're extremely bright and they can be easily seen. At night they're going to turn themselves down so as not to burn your eyes. Also if you bring them indoors they're quite comfortable with the auto uh, circuit engaged. The next thing you're going to need to decide is how do you want to hang these displays. All of our standard displays come with an aluminum back panel like this with a keyhole to hang just like a picture on a nail. They also have big holes for putting your wires, your connectors for power and for your push buttons. Optionally, you can purchase tilt mount brackets, which are just these brackets here on the side. Those are going to allow your display to hang on a wall using these fasten points and it will tilt your display just slightly down. If you need an outdoor display, you're going to want to purchase an outdoor case. And outdoor cases automatically come with the tilt mount brackets. In addition, they come with a top plate, a back plate that only has grommets for the holes, and a face plate that inside it has a gasket. This will be a weather resistant case, hang on a wall under an eave preferably, and we have those hung all over the world outside and they work great. The next big decision you have after deciding on the character size and the LED type and the mounting options is which series best fits your application. So our 6300 series is going to be a standalone display, meaning all of the brains of the timer are actually in the display. All you need is the display. You can then control the display with either push buttons, which come with the display, or the remote control, which comes with the display. Our 6200 series, all of the brains reside in the keypad. These are great for applications such as a sound booth or a control room, where the control room needs to see and control what's going on, and the remote display is indicated for a speaker or some sort of a timer. And lastly, we do have a Wi-Fi series which the brains are in the display and you can use your phone with our free iOS or Android application to view the time and or start and stop and configure the settings right from your phone as long as you're on the same Wi-Fi network. So let's dive a little deeper into each of these series. So let's start by talking a little bit about the 6300 series in detail. Every 6300 display is going to come with two brass push buttons. Each push button has screws on the back. These can be wired to the back of the display. One can be wired to start, the other to stop, and you can control some of the functionality by programming the display with the included remote. Every display comes with a remote. Not only can you go into the menu settings and set up all the parameters, count up, count down, when to chime, you can actually use it to count down and count up. And as you can see, there's an internal chime built into every display in the 6300 series. This one was programmed to, to chime at zero. There's a couple other chime times that you can set. In addition to the standard features of the internal chime, the remote control, and the brass push buttons, you can upgrade to wireless push buttons. You will get an antenna on the top of your display at that point, but you can choose up or down and you can also clear and program these buttons just like you would the two inputs from the wired push buttons. One other thing with the 6300 series, optionally you can add circuitry called a triac or a dry contact to control external chimes or horns of your choice. If you have more questions about those circuits, please call and ask for tech support. We'd be happy to walk you through the best choice.
Next, let's take a look at a few details of the 6200 series. As we discussed earlier, the 6200 has a controller with all the brains in the controller. You can put multiple displays connected to this controller, but whoever runs this gets to see all the times, start and stop multiple timers, have one timer start another timer. There's all kinds of functionality built into this. And the idea is that the control room would be able to set, start, stop, easily control all the displays in your facility from one handy location. Now let's discuss the 6500 series. It's our Wi-Fi display. All the brains are in the display similar to the 6300, but instead of using a remote control to set the parameters and start times, you can use a free iOS and Android app right from your phone if you're on the same Wi-Fi network to start and stop and view the times and configure the display. The display does come with push buttons, so if you want to use it for push button start stop and just use your phone to set it, you can do so. Hope you enjoyed our video. For more details on each of these products, we're going to be coming out with deep dive videos on how to program each of these series in the near future.